Showing God love and respect in ways that our kids can comprehend uh, is a little bit tricky, but we, but we can do it. And it can be as simple as when we pray together with our kids before a meal, before bedtime, how are we approaching God? Uh, I can be a little bit jokey sometimes. You may have noticed that. And I realized sometimes I was being too jokey when we were coming to God as a family, that I, that I, I was giving the impression that I didn't take God seriously because I'm kind of a funny guy. And I realized I'm not, when I'm approaching God with my kids in prayer, I'm not talking with my funny next door neighbor, I'm talking with the creator of the universe. Yes, he loves us, but he's also the creator of the universe. And to show him respect is to take that seriously. So I try to bring a little more gravity in front of my kids when I am talking to the creator of the universe. That's one good way to teach your kids the idea of respecting God for who he is. But I think an even better way is simply this, to value what God values with your kids. In other words, I, I, Jesus says the greatest two commandments are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, strength, and mind, and secondly, to love your neighbor as yourselves. So the question is, are we doing that? When we see that someone needs help, are we helping them? And are we helping them in the name of God? Jesus says if to do this to the least of these is to do it unto me. If we see something that we can do to make the world a better place, to help others, to help our neighbor, the jokey one, if we can help others, and if we can, if we can cast that for our kids in the framework of this is what is on God's heart, David was described as a man after God's own heart. What did that mean? It means that he sought to value what God valued. When we value what God values, our kids see God through us. Not only do we show love and respect to God, we show God to our kids. There's nothing more important than that.